You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. We have got an update on casting news. This is about days, comings, and goings. Vivian Alamein is coming back. She is going to be back on the Mothership Soap. It has been a minute since we saw her. She was name dropped a couple of months ago, but it's been a while. Now, if you don't remember, she is in Statesville Prison with all the other villains, but her son is back alive and she thought he was dead and then you know Jake came around and that was confusing because what it was stepping back even further when Tyler Christopher was in the role he was very close to Vivian Alamein and that was when Louise Sorrell was playing the role in interim scenes she couldn't show back up because of some health concerns and Linda Dano temporarily took over But Tyler Christopher was having problems on the show, and as he's acknowledged, he had some alcohol issues. So the writers had written out the character of Stefan. Meanwhile, Tyler's medical condition became more severe, and he couldn't film his final scenes. So they hired Brandon Barish, who, if you watch General Hospital, you'll know him from over there, and that's how Ron Carlovati knew him. He played Johnny Zakara on GH. So he brought him over, and they plugged in Brandon Barish, for the last bit of scenes as Stefan Demera, and they killed him off. Now, how did he die? He was shot. And it's very important because this ties back into Vivian Alamein and her return. You might remember that Lonnie Price had a gun trained on Vivian Alamein. There was a standoff in the park, and Lonnie was ready to fire on her. And no doubt, Vivian is a she-villain on Days of Our Lives and probably deserved that bullet. But Stefan freaked out, and that was Brandon Barish in the role then, and he jumped in front of Vivian, and he took a bullet for her. He took a bullet in the heart, and it killed him. At the time, everybody was distraught. Vivian, of course, was distraught. Gabby was distraught. She begged Dr. Rolf to find a way to bring him back. Dr. Rolf said, I can't do it. There's no life left there, and, you know, because he was shot in the heart. Then we fast forward to late 2022, early 2023, and we find out that Stefan has been in cold storage this whole time. And meanwhile, after they killed off Stefan, fans like Brandon Barish. And so Days of Our Lives decided to bring him back. Part of the problem with Days of Our Lives filming so far ahead is they don't know what's going to be a popular storyline, what's going to be a popular new character, and they make decisions without knowing ratings and fan sentiment And so they killed him off. And then when the shows aired six months later, then they hear fans going, oh, we love Brandon Barish. We want him back. And so that's why they invented the character of Jake Lambert, a.k.a. Jake Demera, who was Stefan's secret twin. So secret, in fact, that Vivian Alamein didn't know anything about him. He was one of those, you know, mysterious soap twins that's given away to someone else to raise. So... Jake was around, and fans like Brandon Barish, but they didn't like the character of Jake. The bottom line was they wanted Stefan back. Even when they took Grease Monkey Jake out of his overalls and put him in a suit, fans still wanted Stefan Octavius Demera back. And so what they did was then, in very high soap fashion, Days of Our Lives, killed off Jake, and then took his heart and put it into his twin, whom Rolf had been conveniently keeping in cold storage, and then bang, we've got Stefan back. Of course, Stefan had some confusion in his brain. He had some amnesia issues, and that didn't help that Kristen had had Dr. Rolf brainwash him, so it's a big mess. Now, let's circle back around to Vivian Alamein. This whole time that Stefan has been coming back to life and getting his memory back, Vivian Alamein has still been cooling her heels in Statesville. Then on January 30th, 2023, she made a phone call to the house and she was looking for Stefan. Obviously, she found out he was alive. She's still in prison. 
but we didn't get to see her, so it wasn't an actual appearance. But now Vivian Alamein is back in the flesh. She's back in person. Louise Sorrell is back in the role. We are going to see her in the next few weeks. Now she's still in prison, so it looks like Stefan is going to have to go see his mom at Statesville. Now that he's got all his memories back and all his faculties back, maybe he wants to talk to her, to reconcile with her, because she has been grieving his loss for years. And not only that, because he sacrificed his life to save hers. And so that means that along with getting all of his memories back, Stefan should remember how much he loves his mother enough to put his life on the line for her. So we anticipate a loving mother-son reunion. We are super excited that Vivian Alamein is back. Linda Dano did a really good job in the recast role, but we are super, super excited that Louise Sorrell is back. And we'll get you some more spoilers on what she's going to be doing on Days of Our Lives once all the information comes back for her return appearance. What do you think? Are you excited to see Vivian back? I sure am. Thanks for listening. Be sure to come back to SoapDirt.com all the time. For tons of Days of Our Lives spoilers, news, and updates, be sure to keep an eye on our Soap Spoilers podcast on Spotify and other streaming platforms. And also check our YouTube channel for all the latest Days of Our Lives videos. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>